Good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to Play the Hits. This is Super Mario RPG, and I am Chris Beck, and with me as always is Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> I wish. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish. Are you kidding me? I, 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 would make drop, my life I would drop you in a second, Max. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, how's it going tonight, buddy? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good tonight. Don't, don't lie to uh, me, Max. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's so many audio issues. Not with this thing, but we're, we're trying to, uh, to upgrade. Yeah nice christmas present you got me but uh only two months yeti late. <laughs> that's all good we'll we'll get it working i hope yeah so but. um for all of our 12 viewers out there if anyone has experienced problems with the blue yeti just not recording at all like on windows let us know. being detected but yeah. just uh, not you know recording and acting as a microphone should so right it's so weird because like you said Windows can pick up on the fact that it is a Blue Yeti microphone, but it will not, like, it won't even let you test it. It's, it's yeah. just, uh, doesn't it's give you any feedback at all. It's definitely not on mute. That's, right. that was the first thing we tried, though. So. Yeah. That, that would have been nice if that was the only issue. Yeah. My guess is likely, um, just a, uh, hardware bug. Um, we may have to send it back and who knows, maybe instead of a refurb, they'll send you like a fresh model. Hey, that happens sometimes. Uh, yeah, my does. mom's pretty good at that. <laughs> Dude, we should just give it to your mom and have her fix it. I know, it. she'll she'll fix everything. It's like, she'll get the shittiest, not even refurbs, just like, she'll get something from Goodwill. Right. And then she'll find the same model at like Target and take it back and be like, I don't have the receipt, but it's not working. And they'll, yeah, she'll, she'll get a new one. Your mom's a fucking yeah. artist, man. That's She's awesome. a boss. <laughs> you know, Sarah can do the same thing. Like, if like I'm always really bad with customer support people because I kind of sympathize for them a little bit. Like, it's I, not I really that. it's not really their fault that the device isn't working. So I'm always soft on them. <laughs> She's not. She's relentless. And Sarah's just like close your heart to their pain. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Oh look, he's fucking crying. Is baby gonna cry or baby gonna replace my blue yeti? Yeah, I get. I'm right there with you, man. It's just you know, I'll I'll try, and they're like, yeah, we can't do this. I'm like, yeah, you're right, man. It was stupid for me for asking. I I'm garbage. I'm gonna go kill myself. Right. She I'm hears, sorry, I exist. She hears a single gunshot, and then they put her on with someone else. Like, well, I hope you're stronger than the last motherfucker. <laughs> Max, where the hell are we? Did we? We already came this, is, this wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. Is this Bandit's way? I don't think we came this way. This is a different one. I think no, they have a few Bandit's screens way. that are like this. No, because I'm supposed to go back and return the wallet and the, the coin. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Now right. you have to go left in a Mario game. Yeah, what the that. Hell? <laughs> yeah, because they, they warped us back to the beginning when we, uh, when we beat the boss. Okay. I think. I could be wrong. That, also, that would also explain how you're you're trouncing these chumps right here. Oh hell yeah! So let's see, dude. Ooh. Mario's just like is made of HP right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Mario's just a killing machine. <laughs> like he, really it's, is. he could he could jump on these jokers and he's just like no. Nah. <laughs> the hammer for you. <laughs> you get the fucking hammer of judgment. <laughs> oh man. So how, even uh, Mel is taking him down. So I already know partially the answer to this question, but how was your fucking week, my friend? The oh my god, yeah. So Disney World. Disney back World. We always seem, yeah, we always seem to go in February to to celebrate the anniversary. Yeah, so, we were supposed well, to go early with you, but uh, all of like our travel stuff fell through. And actually, dude, yeah, it sorry wound about up that. no, it wound up being like so freaking good that we didn't go this week Why? because we were all down with that damn bug. Oh really? Yeah, dude, it would have sucked. Like, first I caught it, first Sarah caught, or actually, technically, first Michael caught it, then Sarah. That's what got I was wondering it, if it was I the same thing it. Michael had. Okay. Yeah, and then Connor got it. So. Wow. Oh my God. Dude, it would have been a nightmare. What was it? Was it the stomach flu or what? No, going on? I, I don't know. I don't know if it was. Or really is it respiratory? Oh yeah, it was a lot of respiratory crap. So we had like all of this like drainage. It, Michael ended up with an ear infection, but we all of us mm. had like hacking coughs and mucus and gross poor kid and, yeah, yeah when they're young the ear infections are so easy to get i think right. yeah the eustachian tube is still just like small and basically a straight line and, right yeah i basically yeah, that's i didn't that's get worst. like a fever or anything but i did have like a full body ache it was it was shitty Ugh. i've been i haven't gotten like sick like that in 
close to two years, I feel like, now. Nice. I've been lucky. Yeah, you get a lot when you have kids. Yeah, I bet. Oh, my God. And then I start going out and bringing great. shit home. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right with their gross-ass friends. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Dude, I'm like... It's gonna be hard, like, when Connor starts bringing other kids home, you know, to play like I did when I was that age. Because yeah. I fucking, Speaking of which, I fucking hate is preschool kids. happening yet? Is that, that's a, that's oh, yeah, a dude, thing, he's, right? That's he's, he's been in preschool, yeah. Sweet. Um, but yeah, like, I, I, fuck, I love my kids, I just fucking hate other kids. <laughs> it's, it's like, what are you, Am I supposed to take care of them? What are you... Yeah, right. He's, he's not mine. He's not my kid. What am I... You're, uh, not, you're gonna send that kid over here with uh, snacks, right? Because I'm not feeding him. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm not taking care of him. He's not my kid. Well, little Jimmy's coming home hungry. <laughs> hey, Mario, gotta level up. All right, uh, so let's I see guess here. if you're a parent, you have to extend some kind of uh, fuck. I don't know. Treat them. Make sure they don't die. I guess. <laughs> hey, that's the wall at the crocodile side for me. Can I have it back? No way, man. I, I'm worried that if I say no way, I won't be- I won't get another chance, so I'm gonna give can... it to him. Oh yeah, you get the frog- oh, flower tab. I yeah, can... you're right. Just in case. I know there's- there's no bad ending or bad path, but maybe- maybe they- they will hold the stuff off. That's- that's my thought. I'd hate to miss out on a flower tab because I feel like being a jackass. Yeah. I think Bannon's the only person I could think of, you know, that one likes to be spit on. You actually get better things from saying no. Yeah, right. Usually doesn't work that way in RPGs. No, nah, Bannon was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Say no to me again. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the resistance, I've right? I've got this Genji fuck the glove. <laughs> yeah, right, fuck the returners. <laughs> now this guy, look at this. Please leave the correct amount for any of money for the items. <sighs> nope. Seriously? I am entering these cupboards and moving on. Let's see here. I got shirt and pants, jump shoes. Wait, what do the jump shoes do? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's some kind of. It doesn't. It's not really clear. It's, Use it's jump not attack. translated. No, translated it's not translated very well, well, is it? No. Um, I think I'm in good shape here. Evil juice. Yeah, the SNES. This is um. Actually, I think even some PlayStation games and stuff. They had to be uh, a little tricky with the translations. Mm-hmm. They had yeah, very limited space. We talked about this a little bit last time. I mean, Ted Woosley was really good at that, but even. He yeah, was. Some of his stuff is not perfect. But I think about like Final Fantasy IV, they they kind of, you know, screwed some things up a little bit. But they, oh, yeah. you know, later on they they made, I think of like some of the names for for like enemies. Yeah, it's like they tried. Yeah. Or it's just like low pug. <laughs> and so think of the Tonberry sometimes as pug. Right. Yeah. With FF4, it was kind of interesting because it was less about the translation itself being bad. And more about just like Nintendo. Uh, their There's a lot of censorship of yeah, issues. Yeah, right. Too. So, That's true. And, and you know, like it was just so toned down that uh, you, you you couldn't really get the whole story out of it. They started easing up on when well, I won the Switch. Like there, there's like no censorship issues right now. No. Like they, they actually, I think Sony censors their games more. You know, you yeah. hear about some some of the weird ass Japanese, you know, Ak Akibara strip show, whatever the fuck games, and, and Nintendo's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. Put it on the it. Switch. <laughs> That's how, their whole philosophy now. The, these fucking shovelware games, sure, put it on the Switch. How, we'll put how it on the fucking front page of the eShop. <laughs> how, how old is this anime chick? Twelve? What the hell? <laughs> Do <laughs> Seriously. it. Seriously. <laughs> and with the SNES, like, I remember, I, I remember when Mortal Kombat 2 came out, and that was like, oh, they're easing up a little bit, but right. I think it was also because Mortal Kombat was huge, yeah. you know, and, and the the Genesis version of that game was, you know, eating their, eating their lunch, so they're yeah. like, yeah, we better, we better let them have their way, but I don't think they wanted to do that they they still censored the hell out of a lot of these games oh, man, ff6 had a lot of i mean they changed the sprites the uh, sprite art on a lot of this <laughs> this kid's all about it he loves it <laughs> this guy can, oh yeah that's right this is the kid that i snubbed earlier so now i'm gonna kill his only friend <laughs> boom oh. dude does malo have more hp than mario i think he Wait, does what? Mallow has more HP than Mario right now. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. I nah. thought he had 47. That was wrong. Now, Mallow's a chump in all respects. Yeah, Mallow's a piece of shit. As <laughs> soon as I get Peach, it's over with you, with you Mallow. Bye, Mallow. Oh, you had a good run, kid. 
I wanted you to know, I never believed in you. Yeah, right. After this journey is over, there's a reason we uh, never see Mallow again. <laughs> yes. Until we get to the sky, it's like, Mallow, my friend. <laughs> oh, hey, look, I want, I want his respect back. <laughs> Boy, when Mario killed that guy, it really inspired me to be like Mario. <laughs> Mario, you're the best at murder. There's this Mac, I think, right, coming up? Yeah, weird dude. I, I did like this part of the game. Mario looks into the camera, I am the best at murder. <laughs> I don't know why this is like, where are they on pogo sticks? Yeah. Whatever, I don't question it. It's Dude, there's cool. really not a part of this game that I dislike. No. It, it's not, it's, so, it's, not it's my, so quirky too. Yeah, it's not my favorite RPG by any stretch, you know? I mean, it's one of my favorites, but uh, everything it does is just so solid. And, and, and all of its um, mechanics and areas and enemies, they're just so much fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Shysta! <laughs> nice. Now, did that. No. The Chrono Trigger came out 95? Correct. So 90, okay. Yeah, Chrono Trigger came out the year before this. So, yeah, but I, I played Chrono Trigger later, so this is this is my first foray into non-randomized battles. So literally every year during the mid-90s, um, Squaresoft had like a major hit on the Super Nintendo. They had Final yeah. Fantasy 4 uh, in 92, um, 5 in 93, um, 6 in 94. 94, yep. Chrono Trigger 95 Holy shit. and RPG, Mario RPG in 96. They you were think just about it, they were pumping fire. them out. Oh, yeah. But they weren't crap. No. And and I don't even think they had, like, more than one team either, like like no, they, they like do the today. it was the same group of guys. It was just like these... It's just like, on to the next one. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> they these, don't even take a break. I could only assume these speed-doing Japanese men. <laughs> like, how did, how did they even... Exactly. How did they even learn to, like, do new systems and implement, like, Mode 7 and... You yeah, know, right. fucking, you think like Final Fantasy IV, the jump to FF5, which, you yeah. know, there's some definite improvements. Yeah, I mean, and it was then the, the same fucking engine, jump but... to FF6 right. was nuts. Monumental. Like, it, that, that, that was an entirely like new the, engine. Yeah. It was like the difference between Mario 1 and Mario 3. Like, Dude, it was just you... like, how is this the same system? Tight. Oh, cool. So, Wake but up, yeah, man. you look at like um, Final Fantasy 1 through 5. And it's basically the same engine. Like, you know, it's definitely improved on dramatically in the SNES. Yeah. But, like, the sprites from FF1 to FF5 look the same. FF6, they did a completely new engine. And then they transported that same engine to Chrono Trigger. And it was even more beautiful there. And yep. then Mario RPG, they do this, like, um, isometric 3D Isometric 3D. Yeah, that's that's exactly, exactly what yeah. I was going to fucking say. Right. But yeah, that, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. So, so, like, they're constantly innovating for, like, five straight years. It's incredible. Yeah. They really put the SNES through its paces. It's Hell like, yeah. you, you see a game like this. I mean, one, FF6 and Chrono Trigger blew my mind, you know, and among other games. And then, and then this fucking game, it was just like, really? This is the same system that did fucking Super Mario World, and it can do stuff like this. Like, mm -hmm. it it had some power to it. It was surprising how how much you could get out of it. But then again, with the NES, with like freaking Kirby and Mario yeah. Three, it was just like these games look a lot different. Like, you think about the first Mario game, and it was just like okay. Like, I know the Atari can't do this, but it's not that much farther. Yeah. And then Mario Three was like, this is. Nuts. This Eek. is this is next level shit, yeah. This is next level, yeah. And then there were some oh. other games for the NES too that like kind of really uh push its capabilities. Like I th I think of even something like Marble Madness, you know, where they, they messed with isometric 3D. That was pretty ambitious for an NES yeah. game. Yeah, that's true. And what was it never came out in the States, but um I played it many years later. The uh it was a Tales game. Tales is it Tales of Symphonia? Because that's for the PlayStation 2, I feel like, but it was Yeah, no, the, that was the GameCube game, but the first Tales game was on the SNES. And I can't remember what it's called. But Tales they Tales of uh, Fantasia. Maybe. Yeah. They no, they had they had like a <laughs> voice. Like they had like singing in in the main theme. Oh and, yeah, they did that with Star Ocean as well, the original Star Ocean. Oh, they had voice in Star Ocean, that's right. Yes. Another one that never came to the States. Right. And, and they had to do some weird shit to, to make it mimic a voice. Right. But it was it was it cool. Yeah, it, was it was just it was like, really what? Awesome. 
and we we never got any of those games. <laughs> no, which is kind of weird though, because I mean that was really, I mean JRPGs hadn't caught on like the mainstream of the United States, but we were getting a lot of them, and people were buying them. Yeah, yeah, and we were getting some of the stuff that we didn't get again for years. Like we were getting the Ease games, or at least we got. Yeah, Some we got them, Ease yeah. 1 and 2 for the NES and the Turbo Graphics. Who cares about that? But right. um, we got Ease 3 for the SNES, Wanderers from Ease. Mm -hmm. And we got a lot of Enix games, too, until they decided to just stop with Terra Enigma. Like, we got Soul Blazer. We Dude, got Illusion of Gaia, you which we're know, working on now. You want to know one of my biggest freaking regrets as a gamer? I remember... Not playing Terra Enigma forever? Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, I remember being maybe, like... I had to be, like six years old it was like shortly before you and i became friends and mm -hmm. uh my dad uh took me to toledo to um what was it, like eb games or something like that uh that they had in toledo back in the day and uh, like a southwick or i forget even where well i think it was in like a strip mall that that's the vague oh. memory that i have but um i was looking for a he said i could pick out a game and he would get it for me for my birthday for the nes Sweet. um there was uh, a whole wall of NES games and uh, some SNES games. And I remember distinctly as though I were still holding it. I had in my hands a copy of Dragon Warrior 4 um, on the NES. I was that it? Yeah. And, and, you know, in box, you know, brand new. Which, again, Enix, I, I still can't believe they released all four of the original Dragon Warrior games on the NES in the States. And, and you know, you, if you even want, like, a damaged copy of them now, you're, you're looking to pay at least 200 bucks. Yeah. And, um, unless it's the first game, which was, uh, you know, really, like, widely distributed. Um, yeah. But two through four, you just, like, can't you find didn't, them. Yeah, I've never seen them. I, I have seen Dragon Warrior, like, the first one, the, but yeah. I, don't, I don't see two, three, or four anywhere. And so, you know what's weird about the U.S. versions is I actually like the box art a lot <laughs> for oh, those yeah. games. The Japanese, the original Dragon Quest box art is beautiful, of course, you know, yeah. anime inspired. But the Dragon Warrior box art it was like usually a big dragon on it for no reason. Or, right. And it was it was cool. <laughs> so so what attracted me to Dragon Warrior Four was it had a big sword on the front. You know, I was and you know I was like into sword fights and all that kind of stuff as a kid. And I was like, oh, this yeah. looks, this is like it could be pretty cool. I'm like looking at the back of the box and like I basically found it incomprehensible. And I like looked. I think they showed like an image of like one of the back and I'm like, oh, so you don't actually, like, swing the sword. You have to, like... You know, before that, I had really any concept of what an RPG There's was. There's, like, numbers and... Yeah, and, and so, like... Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, oh, man, I, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about it, because on the one hand, it has swords, but on the other hand, here's fucking Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, <laughs> which I really enjoy as a cartoon. Hey, and, hey you know what? That was a good game, though. Well, no, no, no here, here's where it really gets fucking stupid, is that, um, you know... When they were first released, the Dragon Warrior games were not well received at all in the U.S. And so mm. they had Dragon Warrior 4, um, even though it was relatively new at the time, for like uh, 30 bucks. And then Dragon oh. Warrior 3 right there next to it, which is e like the best in the series until the uh, uh, PS2 until era. Until like 7. <laughs> until 7, yeah. And um, they had that on sale for like... I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just spitballing numbers here, but it was deeply discounted. And so my dad's like, well, if you want to get those, you can get uh, both of them since, they, like, together, they don't even equal the price of a new game. Of oh, one game, yeah. Yeah. And, and so I'm like, oh, two games, huh? I'm going to go with fucking Chip and Tails Rescue. <laughs> I, like, and, and like, I didn't even realize it. Like, I, Dude, I didn't how could know, you know? I didn't know what I was holding until years later like this is what i know for years exactly yeah and, and like the only way that i even am aware of that is because um i love this boss fight music so much by the way yeah oh yeah the only reason i'm aware of it is because um i recently looked them up on ebay and amazon just to see you know how much they are and if i wanted them in like my physical collection and then i saw the box art and all of a sudden like, it just came back to yeah, you. Yeah, you know, like, how you don't think of something for years, and then, like, you'll see something, and it just triggers that memory? Yep. And there it was. Suddenly, I'm, like, six or seven years old again, and I'm holding it in my hand. I'm like, no, 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 you fool. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, my dude, God. Dude, like, 
and again, today I'm like seriously like considering how I might obtain copies of them. And they're freaking two hundred dollars. And, and a you're piece. willing to oh yeah. man, you're probably considering it. I'm considering <laughs> it. Like it's not gonna be an immediate purchase, but you know, maybe like down the road, save up a little and Oh my gosh. Well, well you never know. I mean I bet years later you would have enjoyed them, but who knows, maybe they would have been, you know, sold by your brother, you know. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I, I could have killed him. And then you would have been even angrier. <laughs> well, and then there was the horrible tendency I had as a kid to take the cases of these classic games and just, like, fold them up, basically, and, you know, crush them under uh, VHS cases in my <laughs> entertainment center, so. You know what? A lot of people did that, and it's almost a wonder... But then again, I don't know, like, it, it's almost a wonder how some of these really old games are in such good shape. They're, yeah. They go for a lot of money, though, because it is rare. So I guess yeah. it is pretty rare. But Jim, being like a 9, 10 year old kid, had the foresight to, like, save these boxes. Dude, you know, of course, my mom awesome. sold almost all of her NES games. Uh-huh. Uh, I think one or two. I think Metroid might have been saved. I got but, but he saved all the boxes, saved all the manuals. He didn't crush them up or anything. And and he wanted them, like, all together. You know, I think there was very much... Now, I think he, he's a little OCD. And so as a kid, he was OCD too. And I'm starting to realize that. But it was it was really good. You know, he and you see, like... If she hadn't, if my mom hadn't sold them for like, you know, 25 cents at this garage sale, um, they would have, you know, we had, we had Dragon Warrior 1, you know, which isn't worth a lot of money, but we had like mint condition, these boxes. Yeah. You know, it was like, and I wonder if we have Metroid or if that was sold, but I remember the yellow Metroid box with Santa's on it, everything there, and it's just like, eh, that makes me sad. Dude. But. Oh, and again, I use that honey syrup. Um, I was gonna say one thing I distinctly remember from your house that I would like blow you right now for is <laughs> you had like that old Nintendo Power original Metroid poster hanging up in like your uh, attic room. Yeah, dude, yeah. that was so tight. Like I remember thinking that was cool as like a seven-year-old. <laughs> I have no idea where that is. That's probably gone. Yeah, it's probably gone. <laughs> That's all right. Ugh, it sucks. You do still have um the uh, FF3 strategy guide I gave you, right? somewhere excellent i'm sure it's in my parents basement that's, somewhere the, the, the strategy guide really slash things. it's really just an art book yeah it really is an art book that that is the most beautiful strategy guide ever released in america oh my god even the cover like even th even though the cover is 90 percent filled with just this red box that says final fantasy 3 on it it's still beautiful oh yeah it, that, that was that was very well done and that was one of like the only things that i had the foresight um to realize like hey you know my brother has a tendency to get rid of or destroy things that i enjoy and um i forget what even happened to your copy of it that that i thought it was a good idea to give you that but it was yeah i'm glad i did because and it was the same thing with my dreamcast games nick had never played a uh, a dreamcast and so he's just kind of the keeper of my uh, what, well, he was the keeper of, like, my one or two Dreamcast games that my brother didn't get to for a while. Yeah. That's a weird thing, because the Dreamcast, a lot of the Dreamcast games go for, you know, a bit of money, mm -hmm. but then the Dreamcast itself, you can use... Oh, yeah, they're, they're I They're not go, exactly rare. I can go pick up a Dreamcast but Shenmue, for 50 bucks right now. But then again, the original Shenmue game is rare. So Marvel vs. Capcom 2... And actually, Marvel vs. Capcom for that is pretty rare as well. I think MVC2 go, you know, mint condition goes for like a hundred bucks. Oh damn! Um, and what else? There's a couple because there's also shovelwares like Time Stalkers you can get for you know ten dollars and stuff. Oh yeah, but, that's for sure. Like I, know, I see, all, I, I think, only see a few interesting Dreamcast games that I didn't even know existed in my like local, um, you know, used game store. Yeah. Do they have? I feel like they might have had a Fatal Frame game on the Dreamcast. I'm not positive, but um, Fatal Frame. I don't know. I, I remember had, very little of that series. There was. I feel like there was a couple RPGs, and and most of them sucked. Like oh yeah, Time the Dreamcast really sucked. didn't get a good RPG. Evolution. Grandia, Evolution sucked. Grandia Two was good, but I'm not as crazy about it as most people are. Like I basically enjoyed it because there was nothing else really to enjoy on the Dreamcast as far as. Like, kind of traditional JRPGs. Oh, I, I get how that goes. That's and, why we uh, played Quest 64. Oh, <laughs> God, that's right. Yeah, there was a drought there. Um, at yeah. The end of the place, PS1's lifespan. Uh, right, pretty much until Final Fantasy X came out. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was... 
Granddad 2 is kind of an interesting game because its battle system was a lot of fun. It had just abysmal dungeon design, though. It was all copy and pasted corridors. And, yeah. and I, I could never forgive, like, poor level design. And, and but so, you know what? Yeah, that was the okay hallmark game. of that era. It was, was yeah. Was just like, let's let's make some cool graphics. You know, let's try to make this game fun. And what about the, I don't know, fucking, like, just make some gray walls and yeah. put a whole bunch of hallways that connect to each You're other. You're exactly like, right. And that, that <laughs> lasted through the PS2 era, largely. Except for yeah. Final Fantasy X and twelve. Like, yeah, and there were there were definitely the games that bucked that trend that were like, hey, we're actually gonna you know make some art here. Yeah. But I think a lot of that was still it was still very much the three D. Whoa, yeah. guys, it's three D. Like that That's was exactly still going right. on in the PS2 era, which by and the PlayStation Three, you know, games haven't changed fundamentally so much since PlayStation Three. So yeah. we, you know, and you're but kind of the PS2, weird... it was still. Just the novelty of it hadn't yeah. worn off yet. You're right. And the weird thing about 3D is that even though you can do stuff that you really can't do with sprites, at the same time, um, because of 3D, it's harder to fill in the gaps with your imagination. Whereas with, you know, this world, even though I'm on like a clearly just like kind of cardboard we got cutout. Hippie, I think. Like, oh, yeah, you're right. There we go. Um, like it's like here's the border of the world, and and you know, like in my brain though, I don't, I really don't even see it. Like I know there's more world around Mario, and I can just imagine it. But we're, yeah. whereas in 3D, like if I were running around, and I had camera control, that would be super jarring just to stare yeah, out into this like endless clipping. blue expanse. Yeah. And, and so, yeah, in this, it's almost like an interactive storybook. Like you've open the book or something yeah. and here it is but you're moving mario around that's exactly it, right it still has that illusion but yeah you're right with 3d so so i can almost sympathize with them it's harder you got a lot more to fill mm -hmm. you really to make it immersive because this is immersive we're yeah. using our imagination without even realizing it right. basically but with 3d you kind of use it less yep. you, you almost like put yourself in it and so it's jarring yeah if you see like a black abyss it's like right. oh, what the fuck's or, going or on or if here? you're very aware that you're running down <laughs> like poo. a series that's right. yeah that's right ass poo. <laughs> you're very aware that you're running down a series of copy and pasted corridors yeah um, and and so like i said even though like you said that was kind of a hallmark and they were still getting used to 3d um i guess i'm kind of less forgiving of it just because you know in my mind the technology was there and in a weird way like the pre-rendered backgrounds of the PS1 served... Oh, yeah, okay, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> the the pre-rendered backgrounds of the, the PS1 era actually did way better uh, for early 3D than when they actually tried to go full 3D and have, like, the camera full. function around you. Because yeah. with, with those, it kind of felt like this, where you, even though... It's, it's there in 3D, you know there's more to the world than what you can see, because the camera is fixed. And so, yeah. yeah. And and that was like, almost like artwork in the background. Oh you yeah, know, these, for these sure. These pre-rendered backgrounds and everything, they put some work into that. And again, it kind of made like the storybook appearance. Yeah. The, but the yeah, best, you go... The best example I can think of, of uh, just mind-blowingly beautiful pre-rendered backgrounds is uh, Saga Frontier 2. Where they did them all hand painted in watercolor. Yeah. yeah, that was. Yeah. Oh gorgeous. my god, yeah. That was one of the most gorgeous games I think ever made. And it's, you know, a sprite based. <laughs> a very little. Yeah. But yet a game like no one is playing. Yeah, right. And, and of course, I didn't play very much of it either because it's kind of like, okay, this it was a hard game. You oh, know, very hard. You, you, okay, let me, let me pick this guy. Oh, everything's handing me my ass. Well, screw this game. <laughs> I, oh, I need to play no. Cyber Frontier too. Yeah, well, th you're thinking of the first Saga Frontier. Um, in Saga Frontier oh, you... 2, you only have the choice between two characters, and oh. they, they do they do pace it a little better, but it's still extremely difficult. Now, the first okay. Saga Frontier it used more traditional pre-rendered backgrounds, but in Saga Frontier 2, they they had like a professional watercolor artist who like literally painted all the backgrounds for the game, and it was. Are you gorgeous. sure? Because I feel like I've seen that. I, I yeah, I remember the backgrounds of the game. It. You probably see maybe it, I'm mixing them together. Yeah, I think you might be mixing, <laughs> blending them a little, which is easy to do with the saga games. But dude, there's a you series said... that um, I'm really sad about because that, like, after the PS1 era, that series just fell apart hard. Yeah, and they had I feel like Live Alive. That was for the SNES. That was yeah. kind of like the precursor almost to which again, that's another game that I never really played. Actually, hardly believe it any or not, of. the saga series was going on way before. Uh, Live a Live ever came out. The, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it was pioneered on the uh, 
the, the original Game Boy. And in fact, what? I saw a release as um, Final Fantasy... Um, Adventure? Not Adventure? No, Adventure was um, ma the Mana series. Was that series. Mana? Yeah, that oh, was so the that first was Mana game. Uh, Legend, yes. Yeah. Final Fantasy Legend, Legend was actually the, the Saga series. Okay. Of course, everything was Final Fantasy over here because it was right, selling. Right, yeah, because that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the only way they could sell a JRPG was to label it Final Fantasy. There we go. That's the. I mean, it's like, how, guys, how do you think the first Final Fantasy sold? Like, right, yeah, exactly. It's okay. Yeah, what the hell? Always do it. Always fucking do it. Okay, there's Yoshi. I lost him. I think he's to Me the too. left, but I'm not sure. To the middle. Oh, hey! I got hey! Him. Nice. Oh, see, I would have fucked you over again. Nice. Don't ever listen to me. Ah, uh, that was luck. <gasps> Best move of the game. Let's see. Don't want that. I can't decide between HP and attack. Go for pow. Go for pow. pow. Let's pow. Do it. It's Let's pow, pow Mia. Oh, that was <laughs> wrong. Anyways. <laughs> for so many reasons. Anyway. Let's see. We're up here what was, now. What was, what's that SNES game that I've never even heard of that was a square RPG? Uh, you were just talking about treasure something? Or? Oh, Treasures of the Rudris. Ah, okay, yeah. I, I literally have never one. heard of that game. That would be a fun one to do together because I have it, uh, you know, as a ROM. But Did uh, you beat it? I ha no, I haven't, yeah. I I've really only gotten, like, into the intro of it, and then I just kind of keep getting sidetracked with other projects, but that would be a fun one to do because it would be pretty much a totally blind playthrough for you and me. Yeah, seriously. And, and it's, like, another, again, yeah. going off of, like, the, the FF6 um, system. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah, how 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 is it one I'd never heard of this game, which is the craziest thing, and yeah, two I right. never played it. Like, no, oh, it, it's it's weird. The games that didn't come over here when it seemed like they were pretty gung ho about you know releasing anything in it. it was, yeah, and again, like the, the Enix games, is like they... discovering a lost piece of history, you know. That's... And I like I'd never heard of that until very recently. Yeah, I don't like back in back in my days of like emulation and being like, oh, let me get you know, romancing saga and fucking Bahamut. What is Lagoon, it? Bahamut yeah. Lagoon. Bahamut mm -hmm. Lagoon. And it's just like, oh, look at all these games I've I never played that didn't get released here, and I had never even heard of that one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Even when I was uh, like aware of Bahamut Lagoon and the the romancing saga series, uh, that was one that just never came up. Uh, Treasures of the Rudris. I wonder, I wonder why. I oh. mean, it was released in, I think, 96, maybe 97? I think it was It was definitely, like, at the end of the SNES's lifespan. Okay. Yeah, that's Still. interesting. Dude, fucking die. These mimic boxes are always a pain in the ass. Like... Yeah, weirdly powerful. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to dead. deal with Mal You're dead. Here. Nope. Do it! Carnicus. Oh, that's creepy. Just tried to fucking eat Mario. <laughs> there we go. That was solid. You fight the dog here, don't you? Oh, dude, a flower jar. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you fight that weird ass thing. Malum psychopath. Why? Right. Jesus, uh, Malum. Oh, there. Maybe Pow. Is, yeah, the best. Thing I mean, even Malo. though, even though it's Mallow, like yeah. you know, almost don't. It's oh, it really. You got a flower jar and an accessory. Wow. Yeah. That was worth it. I mean, yeah, that adds like three, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Holy hell crap. Doink. I probably should have used that right before the boss, but whatever. And then let's see here. Item or equipment. True form pin. You won't be turned into won't mushrooms turned in. Oh, that's sweet. What did that do? Oh, right. Uh, you could be turned into mushrooms in this game. Oh, dude, that really jacks Mallow's defense, too. What's Mario's defense look like? Wow, he's actually got weaker defense than Mallow right now. Which is okay. He just has a damn shirt on. Oh, so going back to our conversation from probably like 30 minutes ago, what was, uh, how was Disney? Oh, yeah, Disney was great. Yeah, what did we do? I mean, we have the annual passes, so we can kind of just dip in out of the parks as we want to, which is fantastic. Like, 
it, nice. it it's really freeing to just be like, okay, you want to go home and take a nap? We can go to the other park today. You don't feel like we really have to do everything we can in this park today because we paid for it, you know? How do those passes work? Like, what do you pay and what do you get? So we, what is it? Like, before taxes and everything, uh, for at a state resident, it's like 740 something. Okay. Um, so, you know, 800 something after tax, but... Right you what you get is it's just for one year you have access to all the parks and oh, you nice. can go multiple parks multiple times a day so you can visit all four parks twice in a day and make like eight trips or something and you can do as and much make as you your, want make your money back pretty quick in other words yeah yeah because usually it's like over a hundred dollars to get into a park oh, so man. if you go now one it gives you the freedom to just go to anywhere at any time right you know without having to pay um so you can do the multiple parks in a day or just, you know, give up on a park, go to another one or just mm -hmm. be like, yeah, screw this. We'll do this on some other day. We didn't plan to. But if you were doing, say, one park a day and that was like your M.O. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it would pay for itself in like seven trips, basically, or seven, seven visits to the park. So nice. like seven, seven days of vacation. Let's say. Which you guys have and easily. We've do. done in space. Yeah. yeah. Right. And the, That's the beginning. The beginning of this trip it had already paid for itself i'd oh, say really? yeah the entirety of our last trip we probably i mean we probably visited like 10 or 11 parks so uh -huh. it, it paid for itself in that way but we we're also behaving differently we wouldn't be jumping in and out of parks oh without sure the path. but hey you know so, that's part of the fun you're you, you yeah. do it because you can yeah, exactly. So assuming that we were just, oh, let's just say it's one park today instead of like three that we did. Um, we bought it and we did like, what, five days worth after that. And yeah. so coming back, you know, after like day two of this trip, they definitely paid for themselves. And that's just the tickets. Now, you don't you don't get a discount on the hotels if you're staying on resort, but uh -huh. you do get 10 percent off of any uh, like table service, any sit down meal. Uh, just 10% off your bill automatically. Dude. But the best part is probably the 20% off any shopping. Oh, man. Which, so, like, souvenirs and stuff? Yeah, any souvenir, anything, like, any Disney store, basically. Now, down downtown Disney or Disney Springs, the, that's, like, you know, even the Disney stores there, you get the 20% off, but they also have, like, uh, like, premium outlet mall kind of stores there. So they have, you know, like, Uniqlo and, and some... You know, mall stores that aren't really yeah. affiliated with Disney, I've so you don't watching, get to discount at those places. I've been watching like um, Cotter's latest obsession is um, videos that show you like they like take you on tours of Disney World and show you like some of the different stuff there and everything. Oh, I'm that's like, awesome. Really surprised, like how many like premium outlets. Like it's not just like you know gift shops at the zoo. You know, it's no. Like, they have really high end merch. <laughs> and like, yeah, and even the official Disney stuff is high end stuff. Yeah. I, I get shirts, like official Disney shirts every time I'm there. Right. And then some of the places have contracts like Uniqlo. It's yeah. not a Disney store at all. Right. Um, Cause there's like a Uniqlo here in Chicago and New York and stuff. But mm -hmm. the one in Disney Springs, they, they have some unique like Disney merchandise. And a lot of stores are like that. They're like, hey, you know we're here we can we can sell some official disney stuff that you can't get anywhere else right we have like high-end bags and stuff like that stuff that's like you have some stuff that it's obvious that it's disney but a lot of the the like high-end accessories and and uh, clothings and stuff it's very subtle you know yeah. it's a very light touch on the disney and and they're just classy so yeah, it, it's that's impressive i gotta hand yeah, it to them. It, they've they've definitely uh oh nice get a lot of luckies down here yeah I, um yeah. they've definitely now here's the thing the price for tickets to the parks and stuff like that even in the four years we've been going they've definitely gone up you know it, oh, it, yeah. it's getting more expensive but i think in the service of that they're really trying to class the place up more and oh. okay <clears throat> but um I think to one appeal to adults, you know, they're the ones paying really for right. everything, and and two, you know, I, I think it's just to have that high end experience with like even the food, you know, most of their Dude, sit downs and everything. That's the you can thing tell. that I've noticed more than anything is it's become like kind of a foodie mecca. Really? Uh, yeah. Since, since we were kids, apparently. Well, I, and maybe it always was, but I. Oh, dude, Mario's just on a tear. Yeah, um, seriously. Mario's Mario, Mario, Mario killed. Mario poisoned me. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why'd you do it? 
I'll poison you. I'll poison your I family. Mean, they, <laughs> they've always had like, oh, here's the churros, here's the ice cream, like fun stuff. Yeah, like that's the only but, thing that I really remember from when I was a kid and I went there was the, the but, pineapple dole. Um, oh, yeah. I don't remember yeah. anything like some of the primo like, like desserts and dining that they have now. Yeah. No, dude. They have like international oh, eats. Oh, nice. Who else wants what else a piece? We got? What else we got? Is Come that on, it? Mario. Come on, Mario. Kill him. Uh, oh. Right, damn. Well, we oh, well, whatever. We got a few. Yeah, dude. It's um, and e Epcot is the best for that, and they always have like their festivals, and every festival is just another excuse to eat. I mean, food and wine especially, but yeah. even the flower and garden show that's happening right now. Yeah. Uh, well, wait. Actually, it's not going to happen for another four days. But you know, even no matter what year round, they have you know in the parks, they have you know all these different places, and that's the other thing is the wait variety, man. I already opened What's that one. On? That was the that was the box with the fucker, wasn't it? Wait a second. Yeah, we've been here. Is, this is definitely the same room, so it's just going to be him again? You bet your ass it is. Huh. I'm not going to fall for that twice, because I don't think okay. I'll get another awesome... Another pen or yeah. another flower jar? No, I'm pretty that'd sure that's one That'd be great if you got another one. flower jar. That'd be worth it. Just fucking spam that until you win the game. Yeah. Um, but anyways, um, one thing that I saw in one of those videos I was watching with Connor that has become okay. like my I, wife... I dropped out for a little bit. Oh, okay. One thing that I watched uh, on one of those Disney videos with Connor that like I'm obsessed with now is I saw this like um, key lime Ooh. pie on a stick. You're still not hearing me, are you? Hold hold on. Something. There we go. Okay. I think my my stream is trying to catch up. Oh weird. Oh. Now you're fighting. Okay. Yep. Something. Okay. So you can't hear me basically. I can hear you. Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, I yeah, don't know no, what the last we, part saying? you heard was. Um, basically, I, I saw this uh, dessert on one of these videos. Um, it's like a key lime pie on a stick. And I don't know if you oh, knew this yes. about me, but key lime pie is my favorite dessert. And so oh, I'm, like, really? obsessed <laughs> with this. Like, I hope they keep selling it. I, I think the guy said it was, like, in the Incredibles that, that's in, um, district or yeah, something. Yeah, I think it's at... It might be at Woody's Roundup or something, but I'm pretty sure it's in Hollywood Studios. I know okay. exactly what you're talking about. It I have look not like had a key one. Key lime my... pie. It looks like maybe like a blue ice cream bar, but apparently it's key lime pie. Yeah, yeah. It's, it looks like a pop, or not a popsicle, but like a, you know, one of the square popsicles, I guess. But yeah. um, but I'm, I'm yeah, I haven't tried that one, but apparently it's like one of the one of the better snacks this year. Dude, and they always I, oh, must I was talking have about it. the variety. Because you, you, th you might think like, oh, you're going to find the same type of snacks here and the same type of merchandise here. But they try to keep it interesting so that you have an excuse like to, to go, go to every hotel, yeah, like, to right. go to every like, I mean, the parks is one thing, but even to the different hotels, you go to the gift shops mm -hmm. and it's just like, you know, you have their their themed stuff like, oh, this Polynesian resort, we're going to have the Polynesian themed shirts and hats and all this stuff. But then they'll just have random like hoodies and stuff that are just like Disney themed in general that are right. like, wait, why is this just here and not at like the big Disney stores in like Magic Kingdom or something like that? Like they they keep it so that it's like you're always discovering little, little things, you know, yeah. that that they just make you want to explore. So I think that's how they sell like the vacation clubs and stuff is they like, hey, you're never going to experience much of anything. Just one trip. You got to right. keep coming back, which, you know, we're not doing the vacation club, but we go a lot. So now there's what's the vacation to do. club. That's like a timeshare, basically. Oh, it's like the, the like big, nice kind of swanky rooms in some of their places, like contemporary resorts, Saratoga Springs, stuff like that. You can it's basically like buying a timeshare. So you, you come, you know. And you have the room paid for, and a lot of times they'll have like kitchens and stuff like that. And Dude, we found our way back to the beginning. God damn it! What the fuck? <laughs> Where the hell am I? But, but yeah, it's uh, when you do go, you know, the parks are a lot of fun. But D Disney Springs, dude, don't skip it. It's definitely some of the best eats are in Disney Springs. I got you. And don't skip the Here hotels either, because they have they have some interesting things at the hotels. You could just go to them, pretend you're staying there. Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I remember what I did, though. Anyways, yeah, yeah go on. Our favorite restaurant is in the Polynesian Resort. It's in a hotel. So, yeah, it's not in the parks at all. <laughs> oh, really? 
Yeah, so it's it's just different everywhere you go. And the it's once you're doing that and you're going in and out of the parks and hotels and stuff, it's the entire Disney World resort feels like one big park. I and gotcha. it's just different everywhere. So yeah, I could, you know, Addy and I would both love to like you know plan things and planning a trip. So because we we know you know a few things now. So yeah, we like trying to turn people on to Disney. But <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, like I said, we're we're pretty easy. That, to sell that goofy at this point. is pretty damn sexy, but yeah, dude, I would fuck goofy. <laughs> I would fucking fuck. He's goofy. got that whole dilf thing going on, you know. <laughs> hey, all right. Um, I mean, you better be sexy when you're that dumb. Yeah, all right. You gotta have something going for you. Let's see. Is here. that Max? It just maxes out your HP. The yeah. mushroom, right? Correct. It's just a free heal. Let's see here. Where are we? Do I want to go down here? Nope, I don't. Okay, that's all right. We can, <laughs> we can get back. What is it like? These places are a little confusing, but it's the the golden temple or something later in the game that's like the worst. Oh yeah, I think I remember what you're talking about. Hold on a second. My and I think it's just jacked up. No. Oh. It's the same boss too. That fucking any place that has involves that licking dog. It's just a horrible dungeon. Oh yeah, you're right. Fuck that thing. Okay, so let's see. I don't want to jump back down there again. I want to go through this tunnel. We've already fought so many random... Oh, hey, look. Oh, here we go. We got this guy. You get so much treasure, though. Balloon. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? <laughs> Hello, I'm the pussy destroyer. Get ready. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Probably with that thing. Ladies love him. What are those things on his head, too? Yeah, dude, this thing is just, like, made to get poon. <laughs> Look at him. Dude, you, you gotta do the super jump. You gotta get, like, your hundred jumps in before you hit Monster Town. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can never he do likes that. it, dude. I, I cannot do it. Oh, room service be kind to me. With my bib. <laughs> Zero. Mm -hmm. you, right. you just gotta, you gotta get in the zone, dude. <laughs> you fucking suck. I do suck at that. <laughs> You're disappointing really, on many levels. <laughs> I am really bad at that. Sleep sauce. I think Mario has the wake pin though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Damn. I'm really I bad at that. I think it might it might be later than than you think. Could be. Let's see. Head full straw. Oh, scarecrow time. Wait, do it on Mallow. Nope. Not on Mario. Don't do it, you fucker. Shit. Wait, you could you could still do specials though. I can. I can still fuck think... up this special. <laughs> yes. Get the one-up sound. Yeah. Yeah, boy. You got it. All right. All right. That's, okay. That's acceptable. <laughs> that was better than it was. Um, let's see here. We need some honey syrup. Get fucked up by a scarecrow. Yeah. Right. You can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger! I was like, well, shit. Alright. So, you guys mostly uh, over the sickness? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, good. Damn. You're supposed to get a hundred of those, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you right. can't do oh, shit. anything, huh? Alright, well, Mario's fucked. Until he spits out Mallow. Oh, no. There we're we back. go. We're <laughs> back. This thing really doesn't have a chance. This this isn't fair. Hey, and a freebie. Get a freebie. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's like every few jumps the window tightens, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. That was scary. <laughs> you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware the flood. Oh dear God! You have to come back here for some this other like treasure, a don't you? Sewer spirit or something? Yeah, right. There's a lot of treasure down here. Yeah. Yeah, there's some like weird shit that you can find. Don't do it. Oh God! I was like, "Come on, you motherfucker, please! <laughs> I don't want to drown." What the hell, Mallow? Yeah, Mallow, you suck. Oh, this part's great. Oh, this will be right. where we end the episode after the this. The barrels. This is a good place to stop. 
<laughs> no, I think ah, I remember. Fuck. Fucking square soft. Do you remember the way to go? Just go left. <coughs> Get that damn coin. If all else fails. Why did there always have to be a section like this in these square soft games? Oh yeah, they did this with FF6 too, didn't they? They had the Trent, the Serpent River, Trent, whatever it's called. The Devil's Road. Well, that wasn't really a thing that you actually had to navigate, but... They did have that in FF. But I feel, and then, and, you know, FF7 had the damn snow. Oh, the snow mountain, you know, yeah. Yeah. Everything with that. I feel like there was a lot of mini games associated with that. Should I have gone in one or two of those holes? No, I think you're you're still good. As okay. long as you're getting the frog coins, man. Oh, boy. This is so charming. It's like a little fucking Disney World ride. Oh, come on, give me that coin. No. Oh. Damn it. Oh, oh, give me that coin. Yeah! Hey. Dude, we're getting all kinds of frog coins right now. <laughs> I love Mario's face right here. Boy, I mean, that is just stark raving terror. Look at him. <laughs> oh my time. god! <laughs> I'm gonna die! <laughs> Somebody tell Luigi how much I love him. I'm a sorry for all of the things that I broke in our apartment. <laughs> Dude, I had a good run for those frog coins. Yeah. Ooh, another barrel. Barrel jumping event. Fuck you, Toad. I just want Toad to get offended one of these times. <laughs> like, okay, not you doing fucking so know everything, this. Mario. I guess you don't ever need my help, huh? Okay, not doing so hot on this part. Okay, that's nice. a little better. The timing's just a little different <laughs> than you think because of the isometric view. Damn. Yeah. That, that just kind of... Oh, that really messes with you in some of the, like, the puzzles in Bowser's Keep. Oh. I remember that. Like, to count the barrels. Oh, yeah, that's right. So that would fuck me up. Gosh. As a kid? I didn't know what the hell to do. There we go. Oh! You fucking fish! You fucking fish! Did you see that fish? <laughs> yeah. Nope. Fish wreck no. your day. Damn. Oh. No. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, Marmo. Oh. All right, well, I think we came out into the positive, at least. Yeah. Now you got the... You got 42 tadpole. coins. Oh, wow. Fuck you, dude. Wow. You wanted 60 coins? Damn. You received the knock-knock. Oh, dude, we Ooh, got the first got shell, the shell Nice. That'll do. Oh, man. Boom, yeah. Mario is now a killing machine. <laughs> You're all gonna die. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? We can go meet Mallow's grandpa. That's not... Yeah. I don't think there's another dungeon between do here it. and there. Let's just go talk to him. Let's just go talk to him. Yeah, I just want to talk to him. Oh, dude, I could never get the music... Or no, it wasn't the music minigame that threw me off, though that did throw me off. It was the Yoshi Racing one. I could never get the hang Ooh. of that. Oh, I was so good at that. It was just Yoshi hitting Racing. A and B, I think, right? I never yeah, had to use the... Yeah, but you had to do it on like some kind of rhythm thing that yeah, I could never get Yeah, it was a rhythm. Dun, 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 dun. You just followed the symbols. Oh, pff, I, I never figured that out. For some reason, the timing stuff I'm, I'm good at. I can do the super jumps. I can do the Yoshi crap. Yeah. Dude, I, like, almost threw my controller in rage um, in Mario Odyssey <laughs> doing the stupid jump rope minigame. I don't understand it. Like, so the volleyball didn't really give you problems. No, but the jump I got rope the did. volleyball relatively easily, but the jump rope one just oh my wrecked my shit. I got, yeah, I, I think I got, like, to 800 or so on my first. Oh, my God. My God I openly fly. wept. I openly <laughs> wept when I got that one. <laughs> The volleyball, though, that was one of my last five moons, because it fucking sucked. Uh, no, the volleyball one I could do fairly fairly well. That wasn't huh. so bad. Because there's ways to spam, See, like, or, or game that. You can't really game the jump rope. No, but I think it, it's something... I can do the timing stuff, but I think you got the spatial thing down. Because I would try to follow the shadow, and I just... I, I, I'd fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, no, the... the the trick was never to follow the shadow, I think. I think the trick was really just to remain airborne. That I think that's how I got it. Hey, Frog Fuchsius. Frog Fuchsius. Which I'm pretty sure is a 
tremendous disrespect to Confucius, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old wise people often give good advice. Would it be great? Yeah, it just dunks him fucking in there. <laughs> <laughs> After what Mario did to that Lakitu family. <laughs> Oh god. Dun, 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 da, da. Dun, 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 da, da. Ah, the music uh, in this game's great. I know, it's so good. Mm. Yes, come into my sanctuary, partake of my wisdom. Fillet my balls. Oh wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> Plot twist? <laughs> Wait, what the hell are you talking about, old man? Oh, that's right, here's where we learn about Smithy. This really is a great game. Great music. Yeah. Let's see, I think ne the next place we go to, we get Gino, don't we? I think so, yeah. Yeah, we get Gino, and then it kind of picks up the pace a little bit. We get Bowser right after that. You get Gino at the sure. forest. Well, then you go through. He you go through us the, to the um, forest. Yeah. Bowser's at um, Booster. The tower. Tower. Yeah. Booster's tower. Yeah. So you go through the tower with Bowser, and then and you then go to Mary we, Moore. Yeah. Then we wreck his Peach wedding. There. Yeah. We wreck his wedding. Yeah. And we get Peach. Oh, Mary Moore. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, though, like it's just Bowser and Peach all the way. Oh yeah, that was always my party, and I feel like that's the obvious party. I mean, yeah. I don't know, Gino definitely can hold his own. He's pretty good at attack and magic. Mallow's, Mallow's just the mage, but but he but is he's garbage. not a very good mage, yeah. No. <laughs> Considering how much damage Mario and Bowser are capable of doing, yeah, there's no point in having Mallow. Yeah, and Mario's just like a cloud character. He's just yeah, he good just does at everything. everything. He's the Mary Sue of the game. <laughs> You know, that was kind of the interesting thing about Square Enix for a while. Like, between, like, 96 through, um, probably, like, until FF10, really. Like, their their main characters were all, like, super Mary Sues. Like, they could do everything. Yeah. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. And, and they, it, like, particularly you think of Cloud and Squall. Like, they were the worst culprits. I mean, like, not only from a gameplay perspective were they the best at everything, but also every character in that game was just like super obsessed with them and <laughs> so that's true like cloud and squall were assholes and like everyone's like oh we need to put them in charge oh, we need so to cool. like yeah they're so cool like dr house syndrome yeah Yeah, right they were like selling you on how cool they were i never got for like squall fucking his third limit break like he's a fucking student mm -hmm. and and if you game like and all of a sudden his third limit break it's like yeah so you can see my aura from space yeah he's like parting the clouds nope. and raining down judgment no big people. deal <laughs> i did like you could you could game the system and, and ff8 so well oh dude ff8's limit break system yeah you could break that pretty easy now something i never did but apparently you can get you know, the Ragnar not Ragnarok, what the hell, Lionheart. You can get that in disc one, I guess. Oh, if really? you know what what to steal from who. I didn't like know that. Could, I yeah. thought you had to wasn't there like a weapons monthly issue that you have to read before you can get that or there, there is, but you can you can you read can it in disc in, one. Really? Yeah, so you can you can see it from disc one and like what you need and, and you can definitely get the stuff. No shit. I never knew yeah. that. Yeah. You know, with with that game, like the the weapons were so inconsequential, or, or the, everyone's limit break, but Squall's was so inconsequential that um, I, I I basically waited until disc three, and then I just went straight from their basic one to um, like their, their ultimate, ultimate one. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. do anything in between just because it wasn't worth the material. That's true. It, it was all about junctioning. Like that's, yeah. that was ninety percent of where your strength came from. Todovsk. Oh, that's right. Todovsky. I don't remember. Nah, we'll do this next time on Play the Hits, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think next time, though, we're going to get Gino, and uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good. I think we're pretty close to the forest. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, no, we're, right we're, we're, right, we're right there. Um, but yeah, let me know uh, if, um, since we missed out last week, if you're able to do an episode or two Monday, and uh, we'll make some decent progress here. All right, man, for sure. All right, buddy, you have a great night.
Yeah, you too. We'll see you all later. See ya.